Kim and Helen compete with three other students. So how many people? Five students. There are five students. Be careful about that. Um, to get the highest grade in the class, what is the probability that Kim will get the highest grade and Helen will get the second highest grade? All right. Now, how many events are there? There are two events. Is it an and or an or? And. So, for Kim to get the highest grade, how many choices do we have for the highest grade? We have five people. And when I say Kim is getting it, how many Kims are there? There might be multiple Kims, but this Kim in particular, there are how many? One. One. Now, for the second one, to get second place, do we still have five available? No. No, because it's the second place, first is taken. So isn't this four? And how many people do, do we choose from to have a Helen? One. One. So your answer is one twentieth. That's it. Now, here's another way of doing it. Let's do it all at once. Let's think of permutations. There are five people. How many ways can you order two people out of five? Because aren't you ordering two out of five? And aren't you ordering them for a second? Five P2. There are five P2 ways to order two people out of five. Now, I can order two people out of the five. How many of those orders do I want? I want one. I want who I want first? I want Kim and then Helen. Out of these choices, I want one way. Now, what's 5P2? Isn't that 5 times 4? They both get the same answer. So you could either just think of two events, or you could think of it as, oh, if I order the five people, if I, sorry, if I order choosing two people out of five and then choose the one I want, that gets it too. It's your choice of how to do it. Number two, Jason, Jose, Hans, and four others. How many are there? Seven people. Are left in a drawing for three DVDs. What is the probability that those three guys will each win a DVD? So, there are three events. Is it and or or? Aren't you them and then and their ands? Now, for the first one, what's the probability of one of these guys, one of these three, getting a DVD? How many are there? Seven to choose from, and how many people out of the seven? How many of these three people can I choose from? I have three people out of the seven, correct? I want one of these three to get it, correct? So I have three out of the seven. For the second one, now I have six. Are you okay with that? There are six people left to choose from. And I want how many possible? Two, because I have one less. I have him one already. He won already. One of them won. Here, one, one, there's one less here and one less here. And for this one, what's going to be the last one? Aren't there five people left to choose from? And don't I have one of what I want left? I have Hans or whoever it is. Now, if I multiply all those, there might be an easier way, especially, watch right here. Doesn't this cancel with this, leaving you one and three? And then can't the threes cancel? So it looks like my answer is one on top and seven times five on the bottom. You have a one in 35 chance. Now, the other way is this. Isn't this a combination? You're choosing three people out of seven. If I simply do seven C three, 
I can choose three people out of seven. Seven C three tells me how many ways I could choose three people from seven. And I want one. I want one of those ways. That one way of choosing is Jason, Jose, and Hans. I want those three guys. So how many groupings of three out of seven can you make? And then I want this group of people, that one group of people. This would get the same answer because you got to think about 7C3, seven, 7 times 6 times 5, divided by 3, 3 times 2 times 1. Remember combinations here? Doesn't this cancel with this? Isn't that 35? 1 out of 35. So you can use combinations or you can use different events. These are dependent events, both of these. Or you can use permutations here, your choice.